Hi guys, Omar here with the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So today I'm going to talk to you about digital well-being. You know, for anyone who wants to minimize their use of a phone or staring at a screen all day, then what you can use is something called digital well-being. Before I forget, subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of any new videos that I post. You can go into the settings menu here and go down into digital well-being there. And then you don't have to turn it on, it's always on. And uh, what this does is it gives you an idea of how much you use the phone each day and it separates the amount of time in total that you've used uh, with the phone into the apps that you use the phone with. So for example, YouTube is the most of used today and then next is Chrome, Instagram and others is just general apps. Five hours and 24 minutes today that I've used this, I've unlocked it 33 times and I've had 179 notifications um, so you can go into the app itself and it shows you how much screen time you've had so two hours and 55 in um, today so that's Friday today uh, which is um, the most I've had I guess all week and then you can also set timers so what you can do is you can set a timer if you're trying to use a specific app less for example if you're trying to maybe use social media less you can go into your social media apps and then you can add a timer and what this does is it uh, grays out the app so for example if i quickly just show you so here we have youtube um, and as you can see i've got youtube there it's enabled and if i put a timer on here to say one hour and then i come out of it and go back you can see that it it's grayed out youtube and if it, if i select it it says youtube timer ran out you used all your time for YouTube today you can change this in the settings and when you go on settings it brings you up with this menu now it's this is this isn't something uh, that you should use to police your kids or uh, anyone else that's trying to um, you know use your phone or whatever that you've given your phone to but it is something that reminds you to um, you know that you've used your phone for a certain amount of time for example if I had set YouTube to two hours and I didn't realize that I've been using YouTube a lot, then it would say you've already used it for two hours. So that would make me consider using it again. Now you can go into, for example, dashboard. You can set all these timers for all these different apps. So if you're trying to use social media less, then you know, WhatsApp, Instagram, um, and it just gives you the minutes of all of the screen time that you had. You can go up the top here and you can look at the notification that you've had. So 64, uh, notifications about from whatsapp 49 google uh, gmail even the clock uh, chrome all that kind of stuff and then if you go on to the times opened you can see that settings was open 20 times open 26 times now some of these are justified like whatsapp for example if you get a lot of messages in whatsapp then you have to open whatsapp so these are justified but certain things like if you're getting annoying um ads or you know uh, notifications then you can come here see what app it was that's giving you so much uh, grief and then you can essentially go into that particular app so for example if i was to uh, do gmail i could go into gmail notifications and then turn whatever uh, i wanted to um, whatever i wanted off here so i wouldn't get that particular notification uh, the other thing is that you can go and you can do a wind down now wind down is essentially uh, just grays out the screen and then blocks off any notifications uh, before you go to bed things like that so you can put it on the schedule and you can do whatever it defaulted to 10 p.m to 7 a.m so you can change that to wherever you want and then it will gray scale the screen um, and it will turn do not disturb on and off depending on how you schedule this so if i just show you here it turns everything grayscale. so if you go into the settings menu home screen things like that it, it everything is grayscale, scale and generally the phone seems less inviting so you, you may encourage you to use it less before you go to sleep the other idea i had was it would be good if you could have a, a timer on a certain app you could give it to your kids say you know you've got one hour on this game and then it automatically shuts down that particular app which would be great you can do it but you need to download a third party app which puts a pin on uh, applications uh, and what you can do is you can set a pin on the settings app uh, which won't allow anyone to change this particular timer 
through digital you know well-being through in the uh, settings and then what that will do is that essentially will give you control over how long the timer is you can set it give it to your kids or whatever and they play with the phone do what they need to do for whatever the timer is there for and then they can't go into the settings because the app the security app the third party security app rather will need a pin of some sort usually to unlock so that was just a quick look at how to minimize and look after your digital well-being on the samsung galaxy s thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next one